It's been over a year now since 2021 ended, meaning it's been over a year since I've made my top 10 comic book projects of 2021 list. And I thought it'd be fun to revisit it and maybe readjust it because of how much your thoughts and opinions can change on these things. I don't think I ever watched it since I made it and I don't really remember it, so maybe I'll surprise myself. from your past. Is this what you wanted? So I put Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings at number 10, which surprised me a little bit. I really liked this movie when I first saw it. Since it came out, I have rewatched it many times and just grown to like it so much more, so it will definitely go up on the list. Or down, depending how you look at it. Lucifer's come a long way. He does his best when you put a little faith in him. Why are you doing this? If I ever said those three words to you, it would be a lie. I put Lucifer Season 5 Part 2 at number 9. I don't actually remember much from this season, but I do love Lucifer and I remember loving this season when I saw it. But because it didn't stick with me like Shang-Chi, I will switch the two placements. Come out right now. Okay, this one surprised me. I have Venom Let There Be Carnage at number 8, which feels so low because I love this movie and I had so much fun with it. This one will definitely move up. That's my dad. I'm gonna get you out of here alive. I'm going to get you out of here alive. The Suicide Squad at number 7. This is one of those movies that just did not age well for me. I enjoyed this movie a lot the first time I saw it. This was even back when some movies would come out in theaters and on HBO Max and literally when I got back from the theaters I started rewatching it. But the more time passed I just started being so mad on it and whenever I tried rewatching it after I just liked it less and less. I don't think it's bad but just not that good. I'll probably just remove this one altogether from the list. said the age of heroes will never come again. It will. It has to. Next up at number 6 is Zack Snyder's Justice League. And this one also didn't age well for me. But this one I never rewatched ever since it came out, so that might be why. And it has come out a while ago, so maybe upon a rewatch it might have stayed or gone up. But for now, I'll push it down a little. To me? Everything. Bring her home. Could you sleep on top? She's such a mom. At 5 I put Black Widow and another one that didn't really age well for me but also another one I haven't really rewatched, which is kind of weird because I really liked this movie when it first came out. And Zack Snyder's Justice League is extremely long so that might have put me off on watching it but Black Widow just kind of never happened. I'll move this one down a little too. At 4 is Invincible Season 1, and I did really love this show, so yeah, it's either going to stay up here or maybe even go up. I don't know if we knew Invincible Season 2 would be coming out this year, because I only found out when they released the teaser trailer, or more like a teaser clip, but if I knew, I would have put Invincible Season 2 on my most anticipated list. This is too dangerous. Hawkeye takes third, and I also love this show. And upon rewatch, 
I liked it even more. The only minor gripe was always the finale for me. Like it's insane to me that Haka and Kingpin never fought or even interacted this season. They made Kate Bishop be the one who fought him and defeated him. If they just had Haka and Kingpin square up, truly this show would have been pretty much perfect. But either way, still really love this show, so it's either gonna stay or maybe move up. I'm tracking at least 100 earthquakes. This could be the end of the world as we know it. No mind will shut its doors on me! She can see us. Run, Barry! Run! Checkmate. You never know what face fate will wear when it shows up. To change your life. Here's one that hasn't really aged well, but I have rewatched a couple times. The Flash Season 8, Episodes 1 through 5, the Armageddon graphic novel. The thing about this crossover is that it has some of the Flash's highest highs, but also lowest lows. And upon rewatches, the lows just stand out way more. I still did really like this crossover, but it will go down a couple spots. You're struggling to have everything you want. While the world tries to make you choose. This is all my fault. I can't save everyone. And finally at number one, Spider-Man No Way Home. And not much to say here. I still love this movie with every cell in my body and it still stays at number one. So since I took out the Suicide Squad, I need to put something in its place from 2021. I looked over the stuff that came out that year and there was actually some good stuff in there like Hulu's Modoc Season 1, the first half of Legends of Tomorrow Season 7, Just Society World War 2. But the one I'm going to go with is the Falcon and Winter Soldier. And this one I liked a lot when it first came out, but I didn't love, hence it wasn't in the top 10. But through time and rewatch, this show has grown on me so much. So for all that, here's my top 10 project of 2021, revisit it. And updated. Lucifer's come a long way. He does his best when you put a little faith in him. Why are you doing this? If I ever said those three words to you, it would be a lie. Said the age of heroes would never come again. One thing's for sure. I'm done running from my past. My son. Can't run from your past. Is this what you wanted? You need to come out right now. I will let you eat everybody! Promise! I promise! Oh yeah! Betty, you feel like home to me. Like family. Hello, girl, kick your ass. I'm tracking at least 100 earthquakes. This could be the end of the world as we know it. No mind will shut its doors on me! She can see us. Run, Barry! Run! Checkmate. You never know what face fate will wear when it shows up to change your life. I wasn't ready before. Now I am. This is too dangerous. Definitely not this one. You'll have to say definitely like that. Holy sh! There are arrows more dangerous than that one? You're struggling to have everything 
you want, while the world tries to make you choose. This is all my fault. I can't save everyone.